In this video, I'll be discussing the uh, dive site called the Caves, um, which is located on Loch Long on the west coast of Scotland. It's a sea lock. Um, they call it the Caves um, because apparently, when you actually dive, it feels like you're in the cave. It's not actually a cave. Um, so it's called the Caves. I was planning to actually dive when I was doing this video, but as you can see in the conditions, I decided not to and go somewhere else. Right, coming from Glasgow on the M8. Head over the Erskine Bridge and through Dumbarton on the A82 to, if I pronounce this right, Orica and turn back down to the lock till you come to the small bridge and part there. Uh, you'll see more details um, uh, further on in this video. So I'm trying a new method with Google Maps. Apologise if it makes you feel a bit sick and dizzy. Um, just bear with it. So this is like an overhead view, like how I normally would do it. And I'm zooming in. On your right, as you see closer in, will be Loch Lomond. And just zooming in. Again, yeah, I'm just experimenting with this. But this is an improvement or just makes it worse. So just revert back to the the old method doing maps. But as always, we all got sat navs in our cars or just Google Google Map. But on Google Maps, um, this site is not actually doesn't actually appear. So this is the road going on the right hand side of Loch Lomond. It's a nice straight road. It's a nice sunny day, some fantastic views. Because always stop off. And you head towards uh, the uh, small town Tarbert. And you see shortly it will just zoom or bear to the left. There you go. will be signposted. Only done it this way because it's sort of get a, um, a better idea or a better picture is actually where this location of this dive site is. It's not that very obvious. Uh, you blink and you'll miss it. Whoever find this site, I don't know how he's managed to find this site, as you will see shortly. And again, this site is, um, if you're not very capable of carrying equipment or not very um, agile, this can be a bit difficult um, especially on, on a, a wet day. As the sights can be a bit steep. And again, you've got some rope to hold on to. And it's even a bit more difficult coming up from the actual sight, as you'll see sh shortly. So again, I uh, apologise everyone if this is making them feel a bit queasy. Because it did make me feel a bit queasy for some reason. Anyway, this road's going into, um, again, apologies if I said this wrong, um, Arica. <laughs> um, you come into the town and it'll be immediate first left. Again, there's a lot, few bars and shops you can stay off, uh, stop off before you actually go diving. And I'm returning some good pubs. So there you can see the immediate left. If you continue straight on, you'll go into the um, other side of the lock of the other two dive sites. Um, you can see this on my um, other playlist of dive sites. So this is the direction of travel. As I said, on the left-hand side, there's a couple of uh, restaurants and a hotel if you want to even stay over for a couple of days. It's a straight long road. Lock longs on your right-hand side. And then from that point, when you turn left, just follow it for about roughly about a mile and a half. And at this point, this is when you won't see any real obvious landmarks. So as, as, you, as you keep going, driving along, just watch your speed. It's a bit of a narrow road. Watch for oncoming traffic and cyclists and motorcycles. So as you go past on the right hand side, this building here it should be Albany House. And as you go past, lift, 
probably roughly about maybe 800 meters maybe a bit more this is where the location of the dive site this has got like a a grid reference or latitude longitude reference here As I said you can't really see it it's all covered in uh, cloud, um, trees and stuff here's another view just zooming out give another rough idea I don't know if this is helpful or not so I'm just experimenting with this idea and then the next picture will be a bit more like a typical map as you can see it's on the A A14 or 8, A114 there you, where that car is that's actually where you park up and that's where you actually go down to um, to the uh, site you can push two cars if there's loads of you just get a big van just all get in the big van as you can see further along on the other side there's another space you could park so max maybe three cars pushing it as i say you can see i don't know if you appreciate it, it's that's the uh, entry point I'll just stop here and just visualize this into the mind particular day it started to rain and actually stopped and this is the uh, water going down and from the hillside a bit rockery um, bit of moss and as you can see on the left hand side there's a rope to hang on to I was obviously hanging onto this with one hand and had my GoPro on the other and before the other guys uh, arrived as you see in a minute I actually actually slip over I don't know if you can appreciate, you can see how steep that is. Imagine with all your equipment, I would advise a buddy buddy system. You just take your time. This is where I fall over. So once I've dusted myself off, um, it's okay, no injuries. Um, you can see it, it's there's a lot of seaweed, and again, I don't think you can really appreciate it. It's still a bit of a climb down to actually get to the to the to the water. This is all covered in seaweed, and again, I did slip a few times, but I can never record it. I've been told that it's not always covered in seaweed, it depends on the, uh, on the weather. I mean, believe that the tide doesn't go in or out in this area. As I said, I've never dived this site, I'm planning to come back and dive. Uh, I've seen other videos of people diving this site, it looks pretty interesting. So this is just a view of what you see once you arrive. And then yeah, an angle where it looks like going up. Looks like someone's made a concrete grip there. Bit of rock. Again, there's your rope. And of course, you have to walk up, and this was slippery as well. I was just wearing trainers, and my by this time my trainers were soaked. So it's just basically uh, showing me going back up to where I parked the car. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, apologize if that, the route with the maps and everything went on too long. I don't think I'm gonna bother with that, that again. I think it went on a bit too long. Anyway, if you like my, these dive site videos and my other videos I've made on my channel, you know what to do, subscribe or give us a fun up, thumbs up. Um, hopefully to plan some other videos in weeks or maybe a few days to come. 
all depends if I can get out and go diving. So I said before, if once you finish your diving, you can head back and you've probably seen it on the way in. There's a lot of um, bars. There's um, there's a pub there. That does um, good food. And man, let's have a enjoying the scenery on the way back home. Um, once I get to the top, I've sh there's a view of the other side of the road looking downwards. Well, thanks for watching and safe diving.